Hello, I'm Michael Slivinski, CEO and founder of Nosby. Back in 2007, I launched Nosby Personal as my own productivity system. Today, it grew to more than 700,000 users worldwide. Over the years, my team listened to your feedback and learned from our own experience. We started having ideas how we can make Nosby even better. Using cutting edge technology, we launched a new version of Nosby. Please watch this short video from my recent webinar I explain the differences between Nosby Personal and the new Nosby, formerly known as Nosby Teams. Check it out. Let's talk about the difference between Nosby Personal and Nosby Teams. I'll very quickly go through that. And as you know, uh, Nosby Personal uh, uh, was born because of my frustration, because I wanted to get stuff done. I wanted to, uh, to get organized. Um, and I built it in 2007, and then it grew in popularity. And we also added project sharing in Nosby Teams, and we have uh, in Nosby Personal, sorry. And then uh, it's been used also by Teams. But uh, looking how Teams are using Nosby Personal, we realized we needed something different for them. And now here are the main differences between Nosby Personal and Nosby Teams, and why they couldn't be the same app, but just newer. They had to be different apps. Uh, so first of all, in Nosby Personal, you start with an account. It's just for you, an account that you can use. Um, because in Nosby Personal, every project is by default private. So when you create a project in Nosby Personal, it's your project, unless you choose to decide to share it. So when you share it with somebody else, then yes, they, they'll be able, they're able to access this project. But until you do, it's yours and for your eyes only. And then uh, uh, due tasks and things like that, like if, if something is due for today or if you get a reminder or whatever, it all goes directly to a priority list because like, it's the easiest because it's just for you. It's your personal task manager. So uh, the priority is automatic. Like, uh, sometimes tasks just appear in your priority list because you, they need your attention. And uh, this is the most, most straightforward design. And it works and it's been working for, you know, for more than half a million users um, from all over the world. So it's really, really good. And then comments uh, in Nosby Personal, uh, are the latest comment is on top. Because if it's a personal tool, there are hardly any comments. Even if you share projects, you don't share, I mean, you share tasks, but you don't, you know, put so many comments. So like having two, three comments and then the one, the most uh, useful comment is on the top. It's fine. It's a good design. But in Nosby Teams, it's different because Nosby Teams is a Teams productivity app. So it's a to-do app for a team. That's why you don't create an account, you create a team. Directly when you sign up, you can just add people from your team. And when you do, uh, all the projects are, um, are shared by definition. So when you create a new project, everybody on the team has access to this project. Nosby Teams uh, comes with a free version for up to five projects and up to five uh, people on the team. And uh, these are all shared projects. So when you create a project, everyone on the team has access to it. Not everyone on the team uh, must follow it or have it as a favorite project. Like they can choose to do, uh, you know, to be notified or not. It's, it's up to them, but they have access to it. So they have access to all these tasks in these projects. Uh, what it does, it shortens the whole administration thing because, uh, um, when you create many projects with your team, you don't have to just think about, you know, tinkering uh, which project to, to share with which person. You just, you know, create the project, people have access to it. And then, you, and then as you start working in the project, start adding tasks, delegating stuff to people, they hear about the project because, you know, they receive tasks from there and they, they see what's going on. So it's really easy. It's, it's just very straightforward implementation. But again, it's completely different than what's in, what happens in Nozbe Personal. Um, and, uh, and, uh, in Nosby Teams Premium, uh, you can also, also limit the number of people that, that, that have access to the project. So we can choose uh, to have projects for everyone on the team, or you can choose just yourself or just a few people. So we can do that in Nosby Premium, in Nosby Teams Premium. And then in, uh, in, in due tasks and tasks that, are, are, that you're mentioned in, the tasks that you, um, um, uh, that you get, you know, all the reminders and the tasks that are being delegated to you, they all come to this new incoming view. This way, it's like your inbox. You can really decide what to do with these tasks. Because again, in a team, there can be 
many tasks that you're mentioning that you that, that, that people want your feedback on so we don't want them all in your priority you in nosby teams you choose manually which task is your priority you have everything that goes to incoming you process that you decide you respond it's all there and then you manually decide okay this task is my priority this is not this i'm going to you know have be reminded later or i'm going to do it later it's your choice and because of that because in nosby teams uh, there are many projects and then there are many tasks what happens is that there are also many comments so we had to completely switch the comments the comments like the latest is at the bottom because you want to be scrolling and you know keeping up and catching up on comments by reading them and it's much more convenient to do it like this than the other way around in Nosby personal again it's a big shift so as you can see the differences between those personal and those teams are substantial, are very important. That's why we had to choose to, uh, to have two products. Now that you can see the similarities and appreciate the improvements we've made, you can understand that to make these changes, we had to essentially build a new product from scratch. We've made sure the new Nosby can be used by bigger and smaller teams, as well as families or just single users and one-man shop businesses. By popular demand, we also added support for many teams in one Nosby application. This way, you can set up a team for yourself with your personal tasks, a team for your family, or a team for your company or various clients or departments that you work with. All these teams are separate workspaces, so you can enjoy a true work-life balance. And you can switch between your teams with just one click in the Nosby app. That's why Nosby Teams has, in fact, become our new Nosby app. That's right, Nosby Teams is the new version of Nosby. Now, what it means to you. If you're new to Nosby, just sign up and enjoy better productivity. Go to nosby.com and set up your free account today. Or if you're a Nosby personal user, don't worry, we've got you. You have basically three options. Option one, just keep using Nosby Personal. We will keep Nosby Personal running and offering you this, the top-notch support you're used to. No worries, Nosby Personal is your trusted system and we are keeping it that way. Option two, use Nosby Personal, but get ready to migrate. We won't be able to add new features to Nosby Personal as we will concentrate our efforts on developing the new Nosby. If you would like to give it a try and see how easy it is for you to switch, set up a free account today. Make sure the most important features you rely on every day in Nosby Personal are there. If not, we suggest staying with Nosby Personal for now. The new Nosby and Nosby Personal apps share the same core structure based on projects, tasks, and comments. They share most of the features, but not all. So please make sure to check it out. And when in doubt, contact our customer support. We will help you set up your new workflows. And option three, just migrate to the new Nosby. You will find a migration tool in the latest version of the Nosby Personal app. And if you're a paying Nosby Personal customer, you'll be migrated to a similar plan on the new Nosby with the same expiry date as you had before. Fair and square. Remember, if you're a Nosby personal user, there is no need to rush. It's all about your tasks and your projects. You decide when to migrate. All I want for you is to keep getting your tasks and projects done with Nosby, whichever path you choose. To get to know the new Nosby, get your free account today at nosby.com. It's free completely free for up to five active projects and five people on the team. There's also a premium version that unlocks unlimited projects and additional premium features. Nosby has always been and will always be the fastest way to done.